back to a new video. So before I get into this video, um, Madam Glam have sent me their new collection. It's called their Wandering New York collection and they're all cat eye gel polishes. I love them so much. So I'm going to use one of them in today's set, but I just want to show you them um, first. I missed, I missed the name of this one, but look, oh, I love that. I don't do the normal like, cat eye line. I don't do that. I like to have a play around. Um, this next blue one is called Home Alone. Um, so they're based around the Home Alone films, you'll, as you'll notice by the names. Um, yeah, they. I think when you buy the collection as well, you also get a cat eye gel, um, a cat eye magnet. And um, this one's called Wet Bandit. This is the one that we are going to be using today. I love this one. In fact, I love. I love all of these. There's not one that I don't dislike. Um, Buzz is the beautiful. It's like a Christmassy green. And that, do you know what? You know what? The cat eye reminds me of. It reminds me of like that reflective, um, that reflective glitter you get. The flash reflective glitter. Only it's like it, I don't know. It's it's weird, but it's gorgeous. I love it. So this one's called Keep the Change. You feel for the animal. <laughs> I love the Home Alone films. I love the first two. I watched the most recent one and I couldn't watch it all because I thought it was rubbish. But I absolutely love the first two. Um, I think you say this, I think this is Frizzanti. I've used this in, I think this is in Tomorrow's set. Um, yeah, so this one is absolutely stunning. And then we've got Kevin! Do you remember she's on the plane and she goes, Kevin! But not quite like that. <laughs> this is a pinky red. It's really nice. I love it. The next one's gorgeous as well. In fact, they're all gorgeous. There's, I can't pick a favourite because they're just... <laughs> this one's called Just Be Claws. Um, there we go. It's like a... Oh, I just love it. It's like a plum. Beautiful. They're, they're, you don't have to you don't have to use the magnet as well you can use them just as like a like a shimmery gel polish so you yeah bear that in mind they look beautiful either way so wet bandit is the one we're going to use today so today is day what is day uh day 10 of the 12 days of christmas it's gone so quick so today's theme is is snowmen so i'm gonna do a snowman set today um so i'm doing i'm right, i'm gonna do two nails like this but i'm only gonna show you me doing one so if you wanted it without the cat eye without the magnet do, doing that's what it would look like um this is the magnet they sent create multiple effects by holding each end of the magnet in different positions over your nail um i like to just take the top and run it down the side and then i'll do the same on the other side you have to be quite careful because sometimes the pigment just moves really quickly. Can you see what it's done? I love that. And then I'll just like wiggle it at the bottom and then I'll wiggle it at the cuticle area as well. And I just love that. I, I don't know. I just love it. I absolutely love cat eye gel polishes. They are like one of my favorite things to play with. So now that's in the lamp. That's going to cure all that pigment in place. And we're going to use the no wipe top coat over this. If you've played around with the magnet and you don't like how the pigment is looking, if you take the bottle br the brush that's in the bottle and run it over the gel polish again, that will kind of like reset it so you can start again. But, oh, look. That's Madame Glam's no wipe top coat, by the way. And then we're going to use the white gel paint. I was going to use the silver one, but I ended up just using the white one. So the Madame Glam white gel paint. I'm using the Nail Sugar Natalie Mugridge Detailer Brush. People keep asking me when this is going to be back in stock. Um, we're having to source a new manufacturer. So at the moment, it's not available. And I, I haven't got any updates for you as of yet. Um, so yeah, just please bear with us in regards to when the brush is coming back. Um oh yeah i love the brush so much right um we are gonna use the gel paint now madame glam's gel paints cure with no tacky layer so you don't have to go over them again with top coat or anything um once it's cured you you can that's it you can work on top of like a finish now like for instance i've already top coated this um you can do this before you top coat as well it's there's no you know it doesn't doesn't matter um but what i'm gonna do is i'm making like little flicks little flicks coming out of the side of i've done a i've done a nail like this before i'm sure i done one last last winter um make the flicks 
go in different directions and it's going to look like the nail is freezing from the outside in you know when your you know when your car's frozen or you know when things start to freeze that's kind of like the effect that we're going for when we're doing this so you see i'm just making random little flicks and we're going to make sure that goes all the way round and then once I'm happy, I am going to add some other things to uh, some more detail to this now. So you don't have to cure it yet if you don't want to, but I did. Um, but I, I don't, I didn't have to. So I'm going to put two blobs. Then I'm not, I've not got any product on my brush. I'm just going to use the product that's in the middle of that blob and pull it out. And I'm going to make four little lines coming out of the blob. And then I'm going to use the end of my dotting tool or my detail, my Crystal Pro. <laughs> If you've got a dotting tool, that'll do the same thing. And I'm just going to make some little... I don't know if this is snow or stars or what this is. But it's like a snowy, you know, a snowy sky. I bought this one, Deep Sea Dream. I bought this one in Madame Glam's 50% off sale. I blooming love this colour. I've wanted a colour that is for ages. I wanted it for autumn and I didn't have one. And um, I just think this colour goes so well with Wet Bandit. So this is a really nice deep bluey turquoisey, I don't know what you want to call it. I'm rubbish with naming colours, but I oh I love it. We're gonna do two coats. Now remember Madame Glam gel polishes cure in an LED lamp for 30 seconds, and the gel paints cure in an LED lamp for 60 seconds. Right. <clears throat> this is the snowman nail, right? This is the nail we're gonna do the crystal snowman on. I think that's the velvet matte top coat. Um, before, yes, look at that, look at that matte top coated, that is just stunning, and look how nice they are together, it's like they were meant to be, right, <clears throat> I'm using Preciosa Clear Round Non Hot Fix Crystals, they're round flatbacks, these are Preciosa Jet Crystals, they are black, and then I've got Preciosa, I couldn't remember the name, so I had to tip them back into the pot. These are Sun, Preciosa Sun crystals, they're called. And again, they're all round, flat backs, non-hot fix ones. And then I've got um, Preciosa Emerald and Preciosa Light Siam. If you buy hot fix, they come with a little glue on the back. Um, so you, you heat them up and they stick to clothes and stuff, I think. But I, I don't know much about hot fix. But you want the non-hot fix because you don't need the glue on the back because we're going to put our own glue on. Um, right, this is Perfect Nails gel glue, right? Before you put this on, I would recommend that you do a white circle on the nail um, where you want the snowman. I wish I'd done it. Um, if I were to do this again, instead of painting... But before I top coated the nail, I would draw a round white circle on the nail where I want the snowman's face because the it just would have highlighted the snowman's face a lot better than it actually is. I absolutely love the snowman. I didn't want to do him again because I was too lazy. Um, but look, right where that gem that gem glue is, um, I would have made a white circle underneath. Is all uh, right. I'm going to start with the jet crystals so these are the black ones these are going to be our coal now these are ss5s these little black ones i don't know what i think this is a size three tip if i remember correctly um yeah and the black crystals are ss5s and i think i don't know what size the orange one is i think it might be an ss7 so the orange is going to obviously be the carrot nose. The black ones are going to be the, what do you call it? The coal eyes and the mouth. And then I've got some silver caviar beads as well. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fill in. I'm using the gem glue as my, like my, what do you call it? It's like a guide as to where I'm going to put the crystals. So I'm trying to just fill in the area with the clear crystals. And then any any sort of massive gaps that I've got where I can't fit crystals in, I will pop in some of those caviar beads. But you want to make sure 
that his head is as round as possible because snowmen have nice round heads i'm using the scarlet center crystal pro which is available on her website um, if you buy her level one crystal uh, placement course which is reduced i think it's reduced from 50 pounds to 35 pounds if you purchase that from her for the next i think it's on offer for next for like a couple of weeks um, but if you buy that from her at the discounted price, she will throw in a Crystal Pro as well. She'll send you out a Crystal Pro for free. Um, so it's it's worth doing. And her, I loved her Crystal Course so much. It's that Crystal Course that got me into crystals in the first place. <laughs> so can you see we've we've managed to fill his head with clear crystal. But do you see what I mean? If the background was white it would really bring out it would really highlight those crystals um it just it's just a little bit too dark i didn't really think about it initially so now i am using the end of my crystal pro it's like a dotting tool end it's like a pointy end i will use that to pick up some of those caviar beads um all the crystals i'm using are available from the crystal parade and Poppy has kindly given everyone in the group, um, so if you're in my, I suppose if you're not in the group as well, you can use it. Um, it's valid from the 1st of December to the 31st of December. A 10% off code, it's Xmas 10, so you can get 10% off any crystals from Crystal Parade. So if you want to stock up or buy crystals for the 12 days of Christmas, um, then you can use that discount code also there are a few mixes if you go to right click on um right in the on the website you want to click on be collection no beauty collections and I, I think it's natalie's crystal placement and there'll be a few kits made up for this for this 12 days of crystalmas um she's popped for for a few of the designs she's made up a kit so you if you want to you can create recreate some of the nails that i've done um, right, I'm using the red and the green to make a scarf for him. Because he needs a scarf, otherwise he's going to get cold. Um, so it is, I've got a scarf across, like, under his neck. And then I'm going to do a line downwards so that the scarf hangs down the front. And again, all the crystals that I'm using on the scarf are SS5s. So if you want to purchase them... Um, I've used SS5s on the scarf, but they're all different sizes on his face. The clear ones are all different sizes on his face, so you'll probably have to buy a... Um, I'm sure she does a, a set with clear crystals in different sizes. Um, sorry, a, a mix. You can purchase those. Right, I'm going to make him a hat. I'm using Nalkami's 4D Sculpting Gel. Right, I do apologise. I have one of those moments where I've gone out of shot, which is really blooming annoying. Um, right, I'm putting the white what's it called the sculpting gel across the top of his head now when you're doing this use gloves don't use don't touch because it's uncured product on your finger on your skin it can cause allergies and what i'm doing is i'm just pushing look can you see i've just pushed out to create the bottom of his hat and then once i'm happy i will pop that in the lamp for 60 seconds to give that a, a cure so that's like the rim of his hat and then i'm gonna this is where i really really got out of shot here i'm putting on a blob of red and we're going to make the top of the hat. And we're going to have it so that it curves round. Let's fast forward because I went out of shot. Look. All I'm doing is I'm just pushing it into place with some isopropyl alcohol. And a, a 3D brush that I, that I had. Um, and then again I cure that in the lamp for 60 seconds. And then instead of having a bobble he's going to have a crystal. So the crystal is going to be the bobble. There we go. You, if you're doing this on a person, you might want a little bit more gem glue than that because that wasn't much gem glue. And then that can go in the lamp. And then that is our snowman finished. But yeah, he'd definitely be more... Um, he'd definitely show up more with a, a white background. I'm just wiping over the top crystals just to clean them off because they had a little bit of... There we go. Nice and shiny now he is. I really love him. I'm gutted about the white background, but I love him all the same. Right, this nail... We are going to, we're going to sugar this now. So I am going to use Deep Sea Dream as the base colour. You don't have to put a base colour on, but if for any reason you accidentally miss a spot, then at least you've, yeah, you've got the colour underneath. But I'm only going to put one coat on 
because we don't need two really so this is the glitter it's called peacock and it's a fine blue holographic glitter from nail sugar and you can <laughs> You can use code NATMUG10 to get yourself 10% off any glitter from Nail Sugar. Oh, by the way, you can use code NATMUG30 as well for Madam Glam. That will save you 30%. Or you can become a VIP. If you become a VIP, you get 50% off all the time. And that is, honestly, that just makes it so worth it. I mean, there, I love, honestly, Madam Glam gel polishes are literally one of my favourites. Um, so you won't be disappointed. So I've sugared that glitter into the uncured no wipe top coat and then i'm going to pop that in the lamp i'm going to give that a double cure just so that i can you know make sure that the, the light penetrates through the glitter and then using this hard brush if you just brush over it it's just going to get off any loose glitter and your client won't end up with glitter on their face and stuff <laughs> or will they they might do i don't know uh, and then i'm just going to do one more nail poppy kindly sent me these are little zodiac aqua snowflakes they're very much like the swarovski ones um but i've got some blue and i've got some white ones and i wanted to use these in a set uh, so that you could see what they look like um i don't know if she still has but there is a a, a 20 percent off code for zodiac on the website it was zodiac 20 um but if you use that and buy preciosa crystals you will only get 20% off your zodiac crystals if that if I'm does that make sense um but yeah the zodiac crystals are well worth trying um I I quite enjoy them um but I must say I am a preciosa fan um I love preciosa crystals so much <laughs> but that said these are still very pretty crystals and so look I'm putting the um aqua snowflakes the zodiac aqua snowflakes and a clear snowflake i'm pretty sure that's a zodiac one as well um i'm doing a little bunch in each of the corners now the good thing about these is because they've got they're like little cogs that connect together but they're not they're, they're snowflakes but they look like cogs so when i'm putting them on the nail they just kind of fit nicely so i'm doing a little cluster where have i gone she's gone there she is right a little cluster um, in the top right and another cluster in the bottom left and I've just popped some caviar beads between them as well and then I'm gonna using the perfect nails glue gel again I'm just making a little line so where the cluster is the line will be thicker but it does thin out in at, at the middle um I don't know that I like this crystal placement but it's kind of what I done so <laughs> that's what it is but i'm just filling that up with some of the clear round preciosa crystals so i'm making a um, yeah a bit of a thicker cluster where the no hang on i can't think what i'm trying to say <laughs> it is nearly friday which is good i can't believe how quickly december's going isn't it shooting by? There we go. Look, we've popped some caviar beads in. And now that is going to go in for a 60 second cure. And that is our finished set. I hope you like them. Don't forget to find the Crystal Crowd group on Facebook. Um, add your designs in so we can see. Don't forget to use hashtag CC Bling Sisters as well. All the information will be in the description box. As will discount codes. I hope you like this video. I think I might be repeating myself. <laughs> if you did please leave me a like if you haven't already do consider subscribing and i will see you beautiful lot tomorrow for day number 11 oh my goodness love you all bye